sometimes when I get pissed, when I get angry, I notice that because I've been looking at these kinds of feelings for a long time in my life, I, I know there's something underneath. I know that there's something, something cooking that's essentially a need on my part. And I'm finding myself, because I judge myself for being angry, I quickly want to run to an examination of what's going on. And I find that I, I don't get resolution. I find I'm leaving this anger so quickly that I, I never feel like I really let it be fully felt. So what I hear in that is a question of how important is it to really feel the exactly. depth of my anger? Yes. And what's the value of that? Is there a value in that? And the anger itself is such a beautiful, vital energy when it's not dumped on another person. And it can be so crisp and clean and clear when you become like a six-year-old and you really can be that simple and say, I hate you because you're not being my friend. I hate you because you're not being friendly. I hate you because you're not listening to me. I hate you because you chose another friend rather than me and you like them more than I do. And that simple, raw anger can be so direct. It's like a direct line to what it is we really want and need. And if we judge ourselves for being angry, we won't find that simplicity. We'll get in our mind and we'll intellectualize. But the purity of that anger or more aggressive feeling and the ability to track it into what it is that we want is a gold mine. And we want to treasure it. And there's such a bad rap against anger because it's been so abused in the world by acting it out on the outer world. But on the inner world, it's like a, it's like a magic entry into our hearts, a direct main line to find out what it is that we most need and want. So if I was going to be a teacher in elementary school, mm -hmm. I would be saying, okay, kids, Let's really be angry today and let's see what we most are angry at and what do we really want. And you know what? The kids would all be able to say, I'm mad at my mom because she yells at me and I want her to be nicer to me. Or I'm mad at Jimmy because Jimmy likes John more than me. And it's so simple. But because it's been so acted out, it's viewed negatively. But in reality, it's just so close to our hearts. If we can keep it simple and we can do that inquiry, what is it I most really want and need?